I've got more guys with a bad having a bad weekend than I do having a certainly a good one other than the podium getters. And let's go through a list of guys like Jack. Very poor weekend. Couldn't keep pace in the sprint. Dropped out of the points after a good launch, and then threw it down the road early on Sunday. And yeah, and you have to think with the issues Pedro had late in the race. Even if he just managed to stay out there for a bit and with his experience and maybe having tyres not drop off that bad, if he could have kept him in, in good condition, he could have finished somewhere ahead of Pedro there and really just sort of calmed the situation down because obviously we are expecting now that you just, you know, Pedro's got his job, right? But yeah, just needed to do more. Well, I mean, it's round one. We don't want to panic too much, but... We do have knee-jerk reactions early in the season, and this is one of them. This is one of the big ones for people, I think, where Jack is just a spent force. I like to think he's not. Maybe it's because I'm biased, and I love the guy. In a similar vein, Maverick Vinales, just really nowhere, nothing weekend for him. Oh, did he finish here? 10th. He might have been higher in the sprint. 9th? Great. <sighs> He didn't finish that far off Aspargo in the end in the Grand Prix, but he's brained in the sprint. So, yeah, weird, just nowhere weekend. Didn't even notice he was out there kind of deal. Bez is another strange one. Was never really at the races this weekend uh, at all. Picked up a couple of points in the Grand Prix yesterday. What else can you say? You expect more from him, especially when Digi had a little bit more pace than that. But yeah, I'm not sure what's... He's just maybe struggling to get to grips with the 23 bike, uh, whereas though he took to the 22 bike like a duck to water. That's all I can think of. But he's finished behind three Japanese bikes from a guy who you're expecting to be probably a top five championship contender based on his previous season but the game has changed a bit this season with the amount of competition and things like that I, I personally wasn't expecting him to back up what he did last season I didn't expect him to be this low but I was thinking maybe yeah around where Digi is seventh or eighth or you know maybe somewhere around that but yeah this very poor very poor weekend Augusto Fernandez uh no points no points for Augusto. Whether you consider this a really poor weekend when a lot of people, including myself, probably just thought well, this is where he's at. But when your teammate's Pedro and doing good things and you want to keep your job, you might have to do a little bit more. So that will go down as a poor weekend for Augusto Fernandez just because he will actually need to do better. The other weird one was Luca Marini. Jack Miller, who we mentioned earlier, went down earlier in the race and ended up catching Marini and going past him at one point. Marini got him on the last lap, I think it was, to end up not plumb last to a guy who's already crashed in the race. But I don't know if this is right or not, but I'm looking at the times here and he's showing 42 seconds off the lead and 17 seconds off the back of Takanakagami, which feels too much. Feels like it's not right what I'm reading here, but it must be. <laughs> it's on the official MotoGP website. He's finished 42 seconds off the lead. Taka was 25 seconds off the lead. Bizarre. Bizarre. Now I have, the only thing I've heard, I haven't heard much yet, still early morning on the Monday here where I'm recording this and I've had a quick scroll and seen the only comment I've seen from Marini is that he's just said he had a small problem but it didn't mention anything about what the problem was so nothing specific and it wasn't a he didn't say big problem he said small problem so could a small problem make you that much worse than Taka it's worrying it's a little worrying I'd like to know what the problem is before I make judgment but yeah he's finished and then the other one that I'm like where were they this weekend was track house after a positive off season I thought they struggled a little bit. I thought Raul Fernandez had pace to maybe do a little bit of something, but obviously had his issue on the grid, which just ended his race, started from the back, and still actually did well to get up as high as he was before he had to retire from the race. Miguel Oliveira, oh, he had a he had a long lap penalty, didn't he? And he's ended up getting a point. So not completely a disaster for them, but they'll I and they will have expected more. Um, I expected them to be at least sort of ahead of the Japanese bikes, which I think were the level that the Aprilia is at. Uh, so slightly disappointing, slight worry, but they did have their issues. So without those, would they have actually done what was expected? We'll see.